Hello friends! Good morning! Welcome to the channel. If you are new and if you are returning, hey what's up? My name is Hunter Brené. I am a country bumpkin residing in the beautiful Seoul, South Korea. Yeah, thanks for clicking on the video. Welcome back! So today I will be showing you one week full of outfits as an epic school teacher. I loved watching these kind of videos when I was packing and planning to come to South Korea. And as I've been informed by some of my friends on Instagram, placements have gone out. So if you are coming to South Korea in August, congratulations. Before we get started with the video, I just wanted to lay out a few items of discussion around like what to wear, what you can and can't wear. So Epic is never going to give you like a booklet on what you can wear to school and what you can't wear to school. But the beautiful thing is that, yeah, you have videos like this, people like me, to, to help you out. So I have three simple rules to dressing for success as an epic school teacher. I should say that I am an elementary school teacher. I don't know how clothing standards and regulations differ for middle school or high school. I know that as you go up, you have to be a little bit more conservative, but with elementary school, baby it's it's all good number one definitely dress for comfort you will be on your feet in the classroom or you know on your bottom if you have some zoom classes and for me it's super duper important to make sure that whatever outfit i'm wearing i feel comfortable in it for some classes we're really active and so um, I will plan my outfit accordingly based on whatever activities we have planned for that day for instance today Today I'm on a long skirt, like you kind of see my reflection here. I have this on one because it's going to be hot and then two because my class is just sitting down. So the students are only actually going to see, they're going to see this and up. So I thought, hey, now I'll wear a skirt so that I'm comfortable outside in the warm weather. But then in the classroom when we need to, you know, get loose and jiggy with it, we can Tip number two is it is better to show legs than it is to show chest. In the winter, this is a lot easier of a thing to manage because we're all wearing sweaters and cardigans and long pants and boots. But when it comes to the summer, it is okay to show a little bit of leg. You know, if you have a dress that cuts above the knee, there's nothing wrong with that. But the one cardinal rule is no, no cleavage. So opt for graphic tees, the square neck tops, keep the babies away. You gotta conceal these, but you can, you know, get the breezes from down below. I don't know how that sounds, but yeah, that is tip number two, legs over chest. And tip number three, dress within your means. I know that South Korea is definitely becoming a fashion capital and depending on where your school is in South Korea, you may feel pressured to go out and spend a lot of kating kating on clothing. I will say that the best thing that you can do is shop for versatile pieces. Shop for pieces that you can wear to school that you can also wear for a night out with your friends or shop for pieces that you can wear on a leisure Saturday afternoon, but then also be versatile for, you know, a Monday. Um, that way you're saving money, you're still looking good, you still have a good variety of clothing, but you're not like staring at your closet every morning and you end up late for work because you can't find anything to wear. In South Korea, you're not gonna have a lot of closet space as is. You wanna shop responsibly and shop with the intent to buy versatile pieces. Yeah, those are my tips. I got like three minutes to get about this house before I am late to work, but I hope you enjoy the video. If you enjoy the video, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel for more content on South Korea and me. And yeah, comment. Tell me what outfit is your favorite. Yeah, talk to me. See you in the comments. Bye-bye. Well, happy Monday. Hi friends, today is Monday. And yeah, let's do outfit of the day. So today is pretty casual. I'm wearing some of my dress pants with white t-shirt. Oh, this is the butter one. Oh, can I show you? Oh, can you see the back? Oh, oh you can't see it, but this is my butter shirt. Get the butter. <laughs> so yeah, this is outfit to start the day, outfit to start the week. Today's weather is 79 degrees, so very warm. Yeah. Happy Tuesday. 
So I'm starting this morning off with breakfast because I'm not in a rush, finally. It is Tuesday, June 8th, 7.48 p.m. 7.48 a.m. I have a major accomplishment. I finally found lactose-free milk so I can eat cereal and make smoothies. So I'm excited. But that's not why we're here today. Let me show you my outfit. So today, going for a casual look with this salmon. Wow, my mirror is filthy. <laughs> this salmon top and my high-waisted mom jeans that are cut off at the ankle because I'm a tall girl. Showing a little bit of waist. Let me stop. So today's fit is simple and happy Tuesday. Good morning, friends. So today is Wednesday. Focus, focus, ah, ah. June 9th. Oh, and I'm watching a video by Josh and EC. Yeah, it's hot today. Right now it's like 75. It is 72 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And the high today is 90. Let's see the camera. Hi. <laughs> I will show you my outfit for the day. So this is the fit for the day. I'm wearing a dress because it's gonna be hot and then a white t-shirt to make it conservative and appropriate for work. So very cute, very <laughs> conservative as an English teacher. Uh, and hopefully I don't burn today. Mindy is hot. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat my cereal and then head to work. So, bye-bye. Good morning. So today, so it's Thursday, June 10th. It's gonna be pretty warm again today. I think 83. Yeah, the high is ooh, 82. It is 73 degrees right now. Very warm. Let's go ahead and get to showing off my outfit. <laughs> okay, so today we're getting back to my usual style a pair of jeans and top. I'm proud of myself. I've been bringing color. I'll definitely just put on my white Nikes as usual. So yeah, we're <laughs> winding down this week of fits. I think it's pretty easy and simple to dress as a teacher. Being able to wear jeans is nice. Being able to like wear dress pants and dress tops if you want is nice. Very versatile. Now I'm going to eat my breakfast and I have about 12 minutes to get out the house. So see you tomorrow. Hello, happy Friday. <sighs> the week is finally over, oh my gosh. Let me show you my fit for the day and then I gotta go because I'm running late. Friday's fit is a nice yellow button-up top, some skinny jeans. Friday is one of my online class days. I normally kind of just wear whatever pants I want or maybe some skinny jeans with some rips or something because the students don't really see me. This is the day that I'm normally the most chill. This is the fit, you know, all nice, beautiful. Ah. This has been a week in the life of outfits. <laughs> Out week, outfit week. A week full of outfits as a teacher. <sighs> this has been me showing you my outfits for a week. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions about epic or epic process. I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Bye.